Oh, he's still just here, just working. All right, so someone stuck around this time. Yay! Oh, yeah, we'll turn the music down now. But it's going to get past the second because we're going to log in. And, yeah, the chemist will want to hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bank all these fish. I'll bank a few of them anyway. I don't think we... Uh, that's the weapon store key. That's the key to edge fill. And we're going to deposit 10 of these salmon. Oh, we'll deposit all the salmon. And then we'll deposit, like, 10 of them, just in case. Alright. So, cheers, everybody. Ow, my head still hurts from all the thinking I had to do, and now eternal doom stream earlier Ugh. all right so last time around in good old runescape land i eventually did the shield of arrow quest and discovered the joy of killing hill giants raising my combat level to 40 and figuring out a nice new thing to beat on for a while at least for a particular wimp root root I am in need of. For tonight's viewing pleasure, I am going to be taking doing one of the new quests that was released in the free quest mode. Now, I think about for however long ago, uh, at this point I'd be doing Dragon Slayer, but two new quests were released for this game in the last, well, whenever I last played it, that I've never seen before. And that would be the Corsair Curse and the Misfarwin Mystery. So I'm going to do this one first. The Misfarwin Mystery. I have never done these quests before or Dragon Slayer. I do not know what to expect. I do not know what's going to happen. I just know it's going to be interesting. So I can start this quest southeast of Wombridge Swamp. By speaking to Abigail or Huey. Southeast of Wombridge Swamp, eh? Alright, I guess we're going to Wombridge. I guess we're going to solve a mystery. Hopefully, this won't be as taxing as a Jim Flynn map. If you don't understand what I mean, go watch my Eternal Doom stream. You'll see exactly what I mean when it comes up on YouTube. I have found. Very obtuse progression indeed. Oh, I'm also kind of hoping I can tip over to 60,000 views tonight. I'm very close to 60,000 views. I just noticed when I... Good luck with your RuneScape adventure. Thanks, Sir Fork. I don't know if you're referring to me specifically, but thank you anyway. Oh, I'm actually level... Ah, the Dark Wizards will still attack. But when I hit 41, I can actually walk among them and just beat them up if I want. Oh yeah, I should probably run a bit. That might be a good idea. Let's run. Run. So I am gonna after I've done this quest, I am gonna beat them I am going to beat up more hill giants because I want a few of those roots to make potions with, since I have a feeling I'm going to need those potions in the future. Plus, I can't think of anything else to really beat up on right now. I mean, once I gain a few extra combat levels, I might take on those moss giants on the other side of the sewers for a bit of a lark. And I might also take on those deadly red spiders so I can get some eggs off them for other potions, because it sounds like I'm going to need those potions in the future. I mean, maybe not so much the energy ones, but most definitely the strength and anti-poison potions. I mean, I'm not so sure if I have to deal with poison and as a free player, but as a member, I suspect poison will be a factor. So it'll be useful to start getting a couple of those roots now so I can make potions. <clears throat> and also it's just incredibly satisfying being on a giant thing. As a much smaller person, I guess. <laughs> Compared to a giant, anyway. So, this is officially the point where I am in... As I said, as I waited to last time, where I am in... Comp 
completely new RuneScape territory. I do not know what's going to, and I do not know what trials and tribulations await me from this point forth. So anything can and will happen. I'm very excited. So, should be good. Smashed up the raft. And here's a fishing spot that we've used in the past. And there's the fishing tutor. And actually, while we're here, let's just talk to the fishing tutor just to see what he says. Any advice for an advanced fisher? Go get your net from the old bank so you can fish. Aye, as you get better and better, you'll find that you can eat fish things like tuna and sawfish. These be very good for combat. Okay. That was incredibly useful. Well, it looks like we have found Abigail and Huey. She looks like she would weather a storm. Hmm. I wonder what is the mystery here. I wonder why they're all, I wonder why they're down the ground. Let's talk to them. Help! Help! I'm not getting involved in this. What does Huey have to say? Help! Help! Oh god, Huey appears to be injured. Alright. What has happened here? We were invited to a house party on an island not far from here. Something felt wrong about the whole thing, but we went anyway. The house seemed pretty creepy, but everything was going fine. We were all in good time, and that's when we got attacked. I... I tried to save her. Huey bought me enough time to find an old boat. I went back to get it, but it was too late. I'm scared that he won't make it. You have to do something. They can't get away with this. What do you want me to do? That psycho is still out there. You have to bring them to justice. The boat we escaped on is just over there. You can use it to get to the island. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Huh. So, so begins this quest. I've agreed to sail to the island in search of the attacker and her friends that are left behind. Abigail says the boat she used to escape can be found on the southeastern shore of Wombridge Swamp. Hmm. I'm just guessing it might be this arrow here. Oh! There is indeed a raft. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's happening. You row through the fog to the nearby island. Where are we? Oh. Uh, we're in parts unknown. Oh dear. Well, that's an interesting start. It looks a bit like Drainer Manor, but it's not Drainer Manor. It's something else. God. Shady figure. What is that in the shadows? Voice acting god. Oh, thank you, Brutal. <laughs> There's a shady figure over there. Uh, oh, what the fuck? He's wearing a scream mask. Wow, that's slightly creepy. Can we go over to him? No, we can't. The music is yesteryear. Thank you, Brutal. And how are you doing this evening? This is a completely new quest for me. I've never done this before. Well, this is going to be fun. All right, let's go in. The door is securely locked. I'll have to find the key. Oh, man, we got to find the key. Bummer. I'll need to stop the killer. I'll have to find a way into the manor. Drat. Well, let's see what's around, shall we? You do not have an axe which you have the wood cutting level to use. 
You don't say. Ooh, a bucket. Something tells me I may need to use water at some point, so I'm going to throw it from the fountain. Better watch out for that. I bet that's the killer with the screen mask. A barrel of rain. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Woo! Party on, bro! Oh my god! Whoa, that wind totally just felt like someone breathing on my neck! Whoa, not cool, bro! Ugh! I'm feeling woozy! Gah! I see the light! Oh, it's not my time. Ugh. Gotta go. Ugh. Ah, kill it. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Cog, help me. Ugh. Ugh. Flip. Sid collapses to the ground in a crumpled mess. As he falls down, you spot something shiny fall out of his pocket and into the barrel of water. Gosh, that was so horrible. <laughs> Draws drawn out. Ugh. Oh wow, he's still going. I think he's actually dead this time. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you doing this? And the killer walks off. Yeah, I've got to find a way into that house and stop this maniac. I wonder what it was I saw fall into that barrel. Oh man, better search. This barrel is full of rainwater. I can't see what's in there. Ah. You fill the bucket from the barrel. All right, now we can search it. You find a key at the bottom. I'm going to keep a bucket of water on me, just in case. This quest should open the, this should open the main doors of the matter's house. It's been the following mystery. Oh, God. So there's a killer on the loose. He's wearing a screen mask. And we need to be careful of him. Oh, he's disappeared from that area. Oh. Oh, it's another player. <laughs> okay. Let's use the manor with the garage door. And we're in. Alright. We are in. I must investigate the manor and find a way to stop the killer. Right. Let's see what we can do. There's a knife. We may need everything we can get more mitts on here. The door is securely locked. Ah, okay. Alright. Raw shrimps. Interesting. Hey, she disappeared! The hell? The door is securely locked. Okay. Does this... Oh, the key's disappeared, so it's not that. Wow. Uh, alright. Let's try this door. Uh-oh. Oh no! The killer is back! Gurgle! No! How the hell do you know that's happening even though you can't see the door? Something fishy is going on here. How does he even know what's going on? <laughs> what's this? A note. I guess I should read it. Huh. Take note. You take a copy of the note. Read notes. Isn't murder just a work of art? Beautiful yet haunting, like the blade of a knife, as we wander through the valley of death. OK. 
Okay. I witnessed the killer claim their second victim. How do you know that when you can't see? So I find intriguing. He. The door is securely locked. Okay, I guess we'll go upstairs. These stairs don't look so safe. Let's go up there. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, they opened that door somehow. Well, this is going to be difficult. How on earth do we go anywhere? Unless there's keys to be found. Oh, the doors are still locked, so it's nothing to do with people dying to progress, so... I guess there must be some keys hidden somewhere. Hmm, I'm not eating off of that. Summon the fireplace. Grand old fireplace. Oh. Well, I thought maybe it would be useful for something. A tree in autumn. Hmm. A gloomy looking valley. Could you use the. The clue seems to allude to using the knife for something. But I wonder what looks a bit shabby. The handle appears to be crafted from emerald. Can we go through in here? No. Hmm. As we wander through the valley of death. It seems like there's a lot more to this note, but it's not revealing anything. Hmm. Huh. Nothing interesting happens. I should try cooking this. Cook the shrimps. Okay. Uh, not so sure what. Yes, go up the staircase. Ah, jeez. We're going to have to use a knife with something, aren't we? I bet. But. On what? Ourselves or something? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, maybe we got to use it on a painting. You crash open the painting revealing a hidden storage compartment. Oh! You find a key hidden inside the swash painting. Huh, nice! Okay, cancel that. Examine the ruby key. A key crafted from ruby. I see. Oh god, we've got no Resident Evil here with the freaking keys having different elemental locks. <laughs> So this should be fun. Well, at least we got in the build. The next room. Examine the barrel. The ranger there. The label reads danger explosive. Oh, we gods. How are you doing anyway, Brutal? Are you having a good night so far? Okay, we'll take the tinderbox too. It seems we're being given all the items we need to progress. Huh. I guess someone did blow the thing up next to wall previously. Hmm. Okay, let's hope the killer's not in one of these wardrobes. Nope, nothing in there. The door is securely locked. Alright. A 
grand old fireplace. Ah, I think I know what we need to do now. I think we're going to have to light this barrel. The fuse is too damp to light. Ah, what? It's too damp. Okay, then, how's your morning going then, Spinzig? Also, hello again. Too damp. Shit. How am I going to make it less damp, I wonder? The shrimp's gonna help? No. Yeah, it's been good, having a few bowls of beer to end the week. Don't blame you. Well, this is a problem. It's too damp to light. What the fuck are we gonna do? Um, hmm. Painting of the king looking royal. Curses. How are we going to make it less damp? Too damp. Oh no, we're not going to need to. We're not going to need to make a fire, are we? Or a campfire or something. Ugh. Oh, an unlit candle. Oh, I get what we need to do. You light the candle. We need to make the room. Wow. Am I playing RuneScape or a puzzle game at this point? <laughs> okay, you light the candle. You light the candle. The room is sufficiently warm, the fuse should have dried out. Alright, here we go. Let's blow ourselves up for fun. The fuse is lit. I should get out of here before it blows. <laughs> Hooray! Grabbing the damaged wall. It's in need of some serious repairs. Climb the damaged wall. Are we up? Wow. Okay. I'll drink. Well, there's the next part we can access, but maybe we should have a walk around here. Just to. S uh oh. Please stop this! Just let me go! We're going to play a game. Do you like to play games? No. Y yes, what did he say? Just don't hurt me. Whenever you get hurt is not it's entirely up to you. Your fate is in your own hands. What? What do you mean? Leave her alone, you monster. Ah, Rev P. I somehow managed to learn your name even though I've never met you before. How kind of you to join us? Now if you say another word, I'll end her right now. Sorry, where were we? Ah yes, of course, the game. Do you like quests, Lacey? Um, sure, I like quests. Do you like scary quests? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary quest? I don't know. You have to have a favorite. Um, the one with the vampire in it lives in the big house. I think he's meant to be the killer. <laughs> good, good. And now for that game I spoke about. I'm going to ask you one question. Get it wrong and you die, but get it right and you live. Oh, Givix, please no, please don't, I don't want to die. Then think hard about your answer. You like vampires, so this should be easy for you. The question is this. Who is the vampire that resides in South Miss Valen? Um... S -s -s 
south, Miss Phelan? Uh. It's, it's not Drano, is it? Count check, Lord Dragon. Uh, no, that doesn't sound right. I don't actually know what the answer to this question is, to be honest with you. I mean, the only vampire we've ever met is Count Drainer, in a Drainer manner. I'm not so sure if there's any other vampires. Vampires. Uh, what do you think I should say here? I mean, Count Drainer is the vampire of Count of the Manor, but. I wish I could check the map suddenly. I could check exactly if it counts as far as Miss Farwin or not. But I don't think it is, so I don't really know the answer. What should I say? Well, I don't actually know, so... Uh, I'm going to say nothing. Oh, yes, yes, I know it. Count Drano! Ha! In your face, you masked freak! Oh, Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. I did tell you to think hard about your answer. I remember because I did a quest for it. Count Drainer is in fact a vampire, and he does reside in his manor in Miss Farwin. But that manor is in West Miss Farwin. I was talking about Count Chuck. Thanks for playing! No, you tricked me. This isn't fair. Ask me another. Stab, stab. Goggle. Ugh. And he just walks off. And then he leaves me another note. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know the answer to that either. I guess Drano was the wrong answer. That monster. I have to stop them. Let's see what the new note says. Okay, take the note. Alright, let's read this note. It's like music to my ears. A glorious sound spelling out your fate. Seeing that text gives me... Seeing the text crawl down that one gives me flashbacks to Doki Doki Literature Club. And uh, anyway. Well, we're back in the mansion. I guess the doors or what? Okay. I guess we have to play the piano for this next one. Oh crap. It's white music to my ears, the glorious sound spelling out your fate. The glorious sound spelling out your fate. Oh my god, a piano puzzle? Sorry about that. Spelling out my fate. I would say F A T E, but mm, that's a bit awkward. It's like music to my ears, the glorious sound, spelling out your fate. Spelling out your. F oh, I think I know what he wants us to do. D E A D. There is a clicking sound as the compartment on the piano unlocks. You find a key hidden inside the piano doors compartment. Yay! I am so smart. I am so smart. Yada 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 yada. Opal. So this is J Emerald. Ah, great. Alright, I 
guess we're gonna have to go back around and climb the damaged wall. Well, we got another key at least. Ah, oh, here we go. Use the emerald key with the door. Alright. Done. Uh oh, another victim. It looks like. Why am I the one who's always first cleaning up after everyone? Shuffle. Hello? Anyone there? Sh Russell. Hello? Lacey? Sid? Scratch. Hmm, well I guess let's go check it out. No point staying in this nice locked room when I could go outside into the creepy darkness. Seriously? The walls and doors seem too thick for Manny to be able to hear you. Oh, and I don't think there's any need to make this big shiny weapon with me in order to defend myself. Nothing bad ever happens when people go check outside noises in the dark outside of houses. <laughs> You have got to be kidding. Okay, well, here I go. Hello? Anyone out here? See, I knew nothing would happen. Must have just been a squirrel or something running about. Oh well, back to the dishes. Phew, that was lucky. Oh no, it wasn't. Stab. No, why me? That's psycho, he was just toying with her. I think he's toying with us too. How he manages to get around? I never know, this guy really likes playing games, but this is going to be a game he won't win. <laughs> Okay, another note. All right, let's see what this one says. Hear at first these words. Each murder you witness helplessly from start to end as you fail to solve the final letters of this quiz. Raise a sharp whacker gemstone as the blade of my knife. The last sound you'll hear will be your screams echo. Heed that I will have the final word in this thriller. Half. It spells out half in a. You search the box, you don't find anything you never want to read. Half. Half. Down the door? No. Hmm. There's half. That's a fire, isn't it? I'd imagine. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the fire's gone out in this room. Interesting. All right, nothing interesting happens. Dang it. Oh, God, I'm s I know that it spells out half, but what have I missed? Okay. Well, this is kind of interesting, I have to say. <laughs> but... 
Oh, this fireplace. Hmm. Let's try this one. Nothing interesting happens. Crap. Scary lighting apparatus. Damn it. Shit, I... Ah, shit. I don't actually know what to do for this part. Hair. Hear each as Razor the Heed. If you fail to solve the final letters of this quiz, Razor Shark and Jones are better than I have so it's going to be the final word. I get it's referring to he, 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 hearth, but I can't think as to what I can use it for. I thought it might be to do with a fireplace, but... God damn it, can I go upstairs now? I'm stumped. Oh, you big wimp. Get up those fucking steps. Because it has to be something to do with this room then, surely. But there's nothing in this room. There's just a bookcase. And... The... Hat stand, and that's kind of it. No, I'm I I I'm stuck already. Yes, it's a dangerous looking knife. I get that. Nothing interesting happens. Why did I choose? I should have chosen the other quest or something. No, I'm I'm actually really stuck. I don't get what he means by far. Fireplaces, yeah. But they all say the same thing and none of them respond to being put out with water. So I'm completely befuddled. The only thing I will say is that there is a... Oh, okay. You use your knife to pry open a loose brick in the fireplace, revealing a secret panel. All right, it was to put out fire. You find a panel of switches inside the hidden compartment. Each switch is crafted from a different gemstone. What is your opinion on luring? Hey, scrub onto 98. What do you mean by luring? Luring people to the wilderness, you mean? I assume you mean like into the world for their items. I feel we need to read these notes. H E E R T F. So, do I have to do this in alphabetical order or something? So, I D E. Really have any opinion at all to be honest, Scrub Hunter. Assuming that you mean luring people into the wilderness to kill them, then you know, 
if people are willing to go into the wilderness and be fooled by someone saying, let's go to the wilderness for whirling, then, you know, they know the risks. Must be really hard to get away with that nowadays, though, the thought. What about anti-anti-wheelers? I, I don't really have a strong opinion on it. I mean, I'm sort of newish to this game. <laughs> well, I mean, I've played it in the past, but this is the first I've ever gone. And I've never done this quest before. Here at first, these words, these many witnesses. I, it says half. That's the clue for here. But then it's something about the order of the gemstones. So, I don't really have a strong opinion on the PK scene, Squirrel Hunter. You're probably asking the wrong RuneScape streamers, to be honest. <laughs> uh, this is the Misfarwin Mystery. Um, I am... I've done all the quests I have knowledge of now, and I'm down to the ones I know nothing about. <laughs> I mean, I have played RuneScape before, so I've played a few of these in the past. I've got a few levels in the past, but this is the first I've ever gotten as a RuneScape character, so it's part of my long-term sh chill stream project. Now, I need to figure out this riddle how it relates to the gems. What? I don't want the solution! No, Scrub Hunter. No, I don't want to know the solution. I want to figure it out. <laughs> Done this quest six times. No. No spoiling. I want to know what it is myself. Sapphire, diamond, zenite, emerald, onyx, ruby? I will admit, though, I'm not quite sure you figure that out. Is it something to do with the way it says it, or... Oh, it's the last letters. Ah, oh, the first letters give you the... Oh, okay. That makes sense. The last letters of each word. Very nice. There's a clicking sound as the compartment in the fireplace unlocks. You find a key in the fireplace. Sapphire key. Okay, no more spoilers, Scrub. But thank you anyway. And it will open this door. But yeah, I'm. I have never played members content before either in RuneScape, so this is all completely new to me. Alright, we're about to go in. I am at the moment, but once I complete Dragon Slayer, I intend to become a member. But that's a bit off yet. Yeah. Show yourself, you coward! Oh, there he is. So, we meet at last. I have to say, I'm impressed you worked out my riddles. Well, maybe you aren't as smart as you think you are. Oh, really? All the dead bodies suggest otherwise. And what did you do to stop them? Nothing! People think you are some big hero, but you're not. All you adventurers are the same. Nothing but opportunists. What are you going on about? Well, I did have this big speech planned out, but quite frankly, I don't think you are worth the effort it would take to deliver it. So, this is the end of the line for you. It is time for the final act. Showdown. The finale. Let's see if you're up to the challenge. As he disappears into a, a wardrobe, like immediately. Okay. A large ornate. Uh, what the fuck? Push mirror. Whoa! It's <laughs> throwing a knife from the mirror. Oh, I see what this is going to involve. I think. <laughs> he's just going to stay in his cupboard, though. Oh, he's changed his position now. You bastard. Oh, 
Oh no, he's changed his position again. This part is pretty difficult. Oh shit. Damn it, I almost had him then. Oh my god, he... Oh, I see. I have to be... Come on, quick. There we go. Boing! Ouch! Oh, nice. Quick! Push it! Push it! Oh, man. I don't, I don't know which one is appearing in next. Oh. Yeah, that's that. Whoops. Okay. Push, 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 push. Push. Quick. Push it. Push it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Push, 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 push. Go. Oh, push the mirror. Yeah. Back at you, killer. Arr. Quick, push, push, push. Quick, push it. Yeah, just in time. <laughs> ah! It doesn't, oh, it doesn't go past two squares away from the carpet. Okay. Uh, I think I may have underestimated you. Ah, that's why it's sink. Okay. That was pretty fun, though. You've lost at your own game, and now it is time to see who you really are under that mask. No, you, but why? Why on earth would you kill all your friends? Why beg me to come here to help them? You just don't get it, do you? So big-headed, so used to it being all about you. About you saving the day. Oh, I'm sick of it. What do you mean? Adventurers, you're all the same. Everything always has to be about you. I don't understand. Of course you wouldn't, because you can't see past yourself. But believe it or not, I used to be like you. I'd hear about some damsel in distress and go to help. To have my moment for me to be the hero just for once. But you... You and every darn adventurer. Every time I get there to help, it's too late. Crisis solved. Disaster averted. Reward claimed. Every time you and those other adventurers steal my moment. But not this time. This time it is all about me. I'm the star of the show. Me, 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 me. Well, not any longer. The show is over and there will be no curtain call. Oh, but there is always a curtain call. <laughs> what? How? There was another killer? Of course! Every go! Good show needs a good supporting actor! Now, take off your mask, darling! Take a bow! You have earned it! Of course, my love. You? But how? You were almost dead when I saw you. I saw your wounds. No, what you watched was what we wanted you to watch. A masterful performance, if I do say it myself. But what is this for you? Everyone loves the limelight, and who better to share it with than my beloved Abigail? But your friends? They didn't deserve to die. Perhaps not, but neither did I deserve to be cast back into the shadows when I deserved the spotlight. Yes, while we deserve the spotlight. And now I have my starring role. Our starring role? Gionor will forever remember this night and what I have done here. No, what we have done. Quiet, Huey. This is my moment. No, this is supposed to be our moment. It didn't talk all about you either. We were in this together. Stop ruining this, Huey. I have worked so hard for this and I'm not going to let you take it away from me. Well, I'm not going to be pushed aside either. We were both in this as equals. We were never equals. Who could you possibly compare to me? You egotistical selfish. No, my love. No, no. 
What have I done? Oh, hoo, hoo. it wasn't supposed to be like this, but you just couldn't let me at my moment. Why, Huey, why? I loved you. This could be my chance to take advantage of the situation. Fight! It will be wiser to use the killer's knife rather than my own weapon. Good idea. Let's use it. Stab! Well, thanks, sir, Domin. That's over. I should get out of here. <laughs> she has stirred up quite the storm. He's on the wrong side of the law. I don't think he's in a very talkative mood. <laughs> wow. I don't think she wants to talk to me right now. And there it is, the killer's knife. Hey, is there, is there actually any stats for this killer's knife? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's about we... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong stats. Oh, four, four, and four. Oh. So it's kind of a... Just a meh. Well, <laughs> trying to be a scary movie. Yeah, I think they were definitely parrying Scream slash Scary Movie for this. You'll never escape me! Uh-oh. You dare try and ruin my moment! Huey's dead because of you! Now it is time for you to join him! Whoa. You're not killing anyone else. Huh. She didn't die a swing? No! This can't be it! Wow, that was close. Andy, how are you alive? I watched you get stabbed through the heart. I did get stabbed, but I was born with a rare condition called Dextocardia. Dexto what? Dextocardia. It means that my heart is on the right side of my chest, not the left like most people. So when a killer thought they stabbed you in the heart, they actually missed? Well, Mr. Hart, yes. I did get stabbed, though, and I'm actually pretty, feeling pretty woozy. Oh, yes, right. You should go sort yourself out. I'll wait outside the house until after seeing to this stab wound. You should come talk to me there. Okie dokie. <laughs> Can I go up the staircase now? Uh, no, I guess not. And I don't think I can go any... I don't, so I guess that's it for the house. Wow. This was certainly... interesting, to say the least. Oh, hi, Rev P. Hi, Mandy. How are you feeling now? Much better, thanks. I'm lucky to be alive, thanks to you in no small part. Well, we saved the day as a team, so thank you too. Here, I found these in the wardrobe when I was seeing to my wound. I don't want them, so please, take them. And the quest is completed. Congratulations, you have completed the Nisfarwin Mystery Quest. You are awarded one quest point, an uncut ruby, emerald, and sapphire, and 600 crafting experience. Oh, I want to keep the killer's knife. That would have been cool. But I guess not. So, there we are. That's the Misfarwin mystery. And we are now crafting level 9. You can now craft weather cowls. Nice. That's actually kind of useful. And so that's Matt. Very interesting quest, I have to say. I defeat the killers and been rewarded with all that stuff. <laughs> wow. That was pretty fun. I wonder if she has anything to say. Thank you again for your help, Reppy. Stay safe. You too, Mandy. Okay. Well, that was a thing. I guess we don't need to keep these notes anymore. Nor do we. Yeah, I'm going to destroy these notes. Are you sure you want to destroy this item? Yeah, I don't think we're going to need them anymore. Yo, Dragonfly, how are you doing? Guess we'll went to the bucket. 
I'm doing pretty good, Dragonfly. I am combat level 40. And I have just done the Misfarwin Mystery Quest. You sign up to visit Xmas on your phone. So, that was uh, the manor. I don't think there's much else we can do outside, is there? I'll just quickly have a look around the outside just to see if there's anything interesting out here. Since I doubt we'll be coming back. <laughs> wow. You can actually see that the world is a giant darkness. <laughs> this is pretty much an instant area, I guess. Ah. You sent Christmas on your phone. Awesome. I don't think we can go any further on either side, so I guess we'll leave. Very well. And away we go. Back to civilization. At last. And that was actually quite handy. Getting our crafting level up to nine means we can now make cows. That'll be useful for later on. Saves us a bit of time. Awesome. I'm only coming at level 24, but I said that that said my fiance is banned me from playing without it. She doesn't want me out where we go. Well, you know, fair enough. Well, that was the first time I've done a quest in this game I had no information about. That was pretty good. It reminded me a bit of Drainer's Manor quest, actually. Ernest the Chicken. But with a lot more pop culture references. <laughs> the entire thing being a play on screen. Which then spawned Scary Movie, which was a parody of Scream, of which Scream was a dark parody of horror movies, sort of. Interesting how that worked out in the end. Huh. And yes, I did play some Eternal Doom earlier. <laughs> I did back-to-back -back Jim Flynn maps, which left its toll on me, shall we say. You noticed. Well, we already have quite a few of these uncut gems, but we'll bank them anyway. We don't have any use for the shrimps. I don't know what they're there for. Okay, well... Yes, then I shall get back to fighting those hill giants. Oh, I've not watched any of that. Because I might end up playing it myself at some point. Maybe. Gosh, there's so many wads I want to play this year. I'm so keen to get cracking on with them. Just sucks I don't have the stamina to do like 10 hour streams or something. So many wads to play, and that's it. That's and that's not even considering my request list, which I, well, as I've said, this is the year where I'm going to focus on myself. All oh, right, yeah, I need the uh, Edgeville key, don't I? Uh, the thingy key. Well, that's all right. We'll be passing by another bank as we pass through anyway, so no worries. Can never bury enough bones. Run. Hey, Ruben15. How you doing? Good to see you. You're now... I'm now going to kill some hill giants for a bit. I mean... I would do... I would. I actually want to get into crafting, but I have a feeling I'm going to have plenty of time for that as I prepare for Dragon Slayer later on, so... Doing good, doing some rune crafting, and got yourself a beer. Oh, that's lovely. Why not? It's Saturday night. I also have a, a well, it's a log, it's Bex, but. Although I'm not, although I'm not really drinking at home anymore like I used to. Like I've cut, I've recently decided to massively cut down on alcohol and really have a go with the snacking as well. So, 
RC grind is tough. I imagine it is, but I'd wager that smithing and mining is harder. Possibly. Astral Caco Demons. But I still need to dump these arrows off. I'm still carrying around these iron arrows for some reason. Mining and Smith is easy in P2P. Yeah, I've been told that the Mother World mine makes mining and smithing quite easy, especially if you have the money. But I'm currently free to play. So, I suppose I should answer that question to... Oh, I didn't... I sort of partially answered that question to Scrub Hunter, if he's still around, of course. But yes, I am still free to play, and I will still be free to play until I complete the Dragon Slayer quest. Once I complete the Dragon Slayer quest, I will, I will then become a member. However, I'm leaving the Dragon Slayer quest to last. I'm going to do all the other quests first, but that won't be far off, so. Right, I need the Edgeville key, which is this one. And that's it. Right, let's go kill some hill giants, I guess. Granted, I don't have any myth. Oh, whatever. I still got enough more armor to deal with the hill giants. Yeah, there's more free-to-play locations where there's a furnace near the mining spot. I always like to see every enemy type because it's like a last hurrah. Hello, Mike. How you doing? Have you finally managed to beat Go To It on Plutonia 2? Or have you decided to skip the map? You just... Well, I imagine you, you might have caught me doing the, the Misfarwin mystery quest. Blue red key. Oh, that's the map with the blue red key mistake you're going on about. Hill giants, here we come. And we are going to train our strength to 35 and our defense to 35 in the process. But mainly I'm killing hill giants for one reason. They drop roots or potions, and I need them. So, I'm gonna be killing these for a bit. At some point, I may actually work on my crafting a bit to go for the weather. So I have some backup ranged gear. Should I use that as an option for the dragon? I'm level 7 right now. I've never been a member before, so I'm very excited to be see all the new content of the game. Uh, they don't drop a lot of fucking uh, coins, but I'm not really bothered about the coins. I'm here for the roots and for the... Uh... Oh, it's only been attacked. Okay. Ow! Try to get your stats as high as possible in free to play before you go play to play. Do we noted? In that regard, I think the Dragon Slayer quest will be a good indicator of how my stats will perform in pay to in the uh, members mode. I figure if I'm able to take the dragon down relatively comfortably, I'll be ready. So that's why I've left it for last. That and it's supposed to be the most memorable quest of the uh, free ones. It's like a rite of passage before you become a member. I have some pretty decent stats though, that being said. I have 35, or oh, 30, well, and everything except magic. I have 34 HP. So I'm not too bad off, I would think. But I will definitely be working on my combat levels in preparation for Dragon Slayer. So I encountered these hill giants last time and now I see what the big deal is about them. So I'm going to beat them up for a while. 
I have plenty of salmon to waste. Oh dear. A mysterious old man wants to talk to me. The mysterious old man can wait until this giant's dead. What do you want? Okay, thank you. See you later. I appreciate your company as always. Obviously. You gave me an uncut ruby. You came to me here as well last time as <laughs> asking for help. Ugh, I'm big giant. Ugh. Have you turned to the Kebos Low ones yet, by the way, Ruben? Oh, I hit for a six then. I'm definitely able to hit six now. I was told by somebody else who plays RuneScape that the Kebos Low ones was an excellent content update. Maybe I shouldn't have bought as many fish. Oh wow. I'll just eat any excess ones. It's only a matter of, I mean, after I've done the Corsia Curse next time around, all that's left is just Dragon Slayer, and I'm, it'll all be preparation for that. I think I've pretty much been everywhere that I can think of in the game. I do like getting 15 experience from a kill in the bones, that's pretty nice. I know it's not the best area to train prayer, but... Eh. Well, good luck with your Quitonia 2 playthrough anyway, Mike. Have you done your Iron Man run yet? Iron Man run yet, by the way, Dragonfly? Now that Mutt's done his, I guess the other five of us could start ours whenever. I was saying, have you done your Iron Man run yet? Oh wow, 104. He dropped a lot of coins. Just era. Oh, he, no, there's a different one. All right. I was saying, have you done your Iron Man run yet for the? I am level 32 strength, and I have a total level of 475. Nice. I'm guessing you haven't played the Kebos Wall ones then, Ruben. Give me them bones. Anyway, you take a heap and go play games with your friends. Alright then, thanks for coming by Dragonfly, I'll see you around. I'll hopefully be playing more Eternal Doom tomorrow, trying to get it finished if possible. I want to get it done quickly. I want to... I want to get quite a few things done quickly actually. Not least the fact that Resident Evil 2 comes out later this month. And I still haven't quite decided which of the two channels I'm going to stream that on. I am tempted to stream it on this one, actually. For a change of pace. But I'll have to see. What day does that come out again? Resident Evil 2? It's like, it's next week, I think, isn't it? At some point, or the week after. I know it's a demo. 
but I'm not gonna play the demo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna see as much of it as possible, but at some point when I can afford it, I will. Well, I might just buy and play it anyway, I'll see. Ugh. Well, that being said, I hope to have a job, so I can't really afford to buy the game, actually. I'll have to wait until I have a job first, then play it. So I might have a bit of time, actually, <laughs> to wait. I got plenty of other games I can play anyway that I do have, should I remain unemployed for a while. Plenty of other games and plenty of other Doom mods. Huh. Some of these giants wear clothes on the top and some don't bother. I guess it's just like a preference thing for these giants, you know? Sometimes they want to wear clothes, sometimes they don't. And once again, they live quite content in their little cave and don't bother anyone. They never come to the surface and might try to, you know, go to the pub or something. I mean, I wonder exactly what it is the hill giants do. Like, what kind of community do they have down here in this underground place? We're not being mercilessly farmed for root contents, you know. Why don't we just, why don't they open up a shop and sell the roots? Then no one would kill them. They could solve all their woes with a bit of economic planning. But again, giants aren't usually known for being smart, so perhaps they're happy in this little cave. The big man with the blue armor stop me in foot. I squash him. Ho, ho, ho. But then they have a counter. So I don't know, maybe the. If they could just be taught economics. These hill giants would have a very prosperous existence. They certainly wouldn't see their numbers being decimated on a daily basis by adventurers. That's for sure. Ooh, mind rune. Swing it in. Wow, I'm killing him pretty easily now. Even though I'm not wearing the best kind of armor against them on the chest. I no difficulties with killing them. That being said, I haven't had a root drop yet. Perhaps those roots weren't as common as I thought. MTX, you get your grub. I'll still be here killing hill giants. This is pretty much what I'm going to do now to get my strength up to 35. I also need to get some roots. So I hope they drop a couple of them. I mean, I was told last... Time that the roots sell for about 900 gold each on the market. 
So it would be much more preferable to acquire some from a dead giant. And would raise my combat level in the process. Big bones! It's almost like big brick. Almost close to getting 35 hit points as well. Maybe a way to won't get to talk to a giant. Perhaps there was something to say. I mean, hell, we've talked to a dragon that teaches us school. Why not a giant as well, right? It just makes a lot of sense. Another giant falls. Aha! A root. That's what we want. Excellent. We got our first root. This is precisely what we need. We're in the money. Alright, I'm gonna time I'm gonna challenge myself on the next kill. Can I go and get another lager from the kitchen and come back in time for the giant to be dead? Or will I come back to an AFK situation or something. I'm gonna challenge myself. Alright, I'm gonna get ready. Get ready for the challenge. Okay, the giant's dead. Hey, a body talisman. That could be useful. Somewhat. Alright, I'm almost ready. Bring on the giant. Alright, go, go, go! Still fighting the same giant. Oh, that was fun. Excellent. This is good. I'm going to get another prayer level as well. Which means I'll be able to get this ability. Five hit points. Strength level. Whoa, 60 strength, damn. And the other stuff they carry around. Thank you. 
Oh god, this one's hitting me pretty hard. Oh wow. He got some good hits in that one. <laughs> but yep, 35 HP. Oh. Ooh, I'm now also 41 in combat level. Nice. We're in business. Guess these giants can hit pretty hard. That's why I'm not I'm not wearing the best armor to fight them, but I don't have any mithril to make a chain mail at the moment. Well I don't have the web actually to make it either. So that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm definitely getting another prayer level up soon. Also. Huh. So raising the hit points can also raise your combat level. Interesting. Well, I got 35 HP now. Every hit point will help. I am now level 33 strength. Look, look. I can hit even harder. I wonder if there'll be more bosses like the one I fought in this far away mystery. Well, I'll have to like move around and dodge things. Seems like that could be a possibility later on in the game. Like some real bosses requiring some tactical skills and stuff. That could be interesting. Frustrating as hell, no doubt, but interesting to figure it out how to beat them. Maybe the dragon swear. Maybe the dragon and dragon swear is one such of these, perhaps. Also, I've just realised I'm extremely lucky to be able to get a hill giant when I'm on the busiest free-to-play server. <laughs> Mike, please. Revenants cannot agitate me tonight. You had a picture of Jim Flynn. That would probably work. Rattle my brain so. I wonder what ever happened to Jim Flynn after he, the 90s. Although I criticise his obtuseness, he's no doubt very he was no doubt a very creative mapper at the time. As I said, a bit like a, a Dobu Gabu Maru of the 90s, if you will. You know, Dobu does similar things in a sense. He does cryptic puzzles, minus the obtuseness, and he has devious setups. Although that being said, Dobu's a lot more vicious, but very creative. I wonder what ever happened to Jim Flynn. I think I'll, I think I will pose that question to Steve if he comes back tomorrow when I play more Eternal Doom. Yes, people who follow this RuneScape playthrough, I am going to talk about my Doom playthrough sometimes. And vice versa. Although the chance to talk about RuneScape stuff doing a Doom playthrough may be a bit less, but nevertheless, there'll be some crossover. From time to time. Mostly because, some, mostly because in Doom you don't get to casually camp things for minutes at a time. Alright, so I will get my strength to 35, then, hmm, I'm actually very close to 42, I might go and, if I have time, I might go and see what the moss giants are like on the other side of the sewer. We might go and beat up on them for a bit, see what they do, see what they're all about.
I think the moss giants will be a lot tougher than these guys, since the, they'll be the same level as me. By the time I get around to them. I may have to come prepared for a big fight. Wow, hitting for six. Oh god, they have such a good dang animation. Pretty impressive animation, they fall to the knees and then slowly fade away. It's pretty nice. You can have that one, Mr. Ranger. And I'll take on the more civilized looking one. The one who looks like he's about to show up in a Greek CGI movie or something. He's got a cleaver in his hand. I've just, I only just noticed that now. This one has a hammer. This one has a cleaver. That one's got a club. So... Does that mean giants have jobs then? I guess? Like a butcher's job or something? There must be some kind of extremely basic society going on down here. I mean, some of them are wearing clothes. Giant clothes. The one I'm fighting has giant clothes. He has giant boots. Giant gloves. <sighs> it looks like a, a workshop style hammer. <sighs> But then there's these other giants that look like they're just cavemen with clubs. But even that one's got a pair of boots on him. So I seem to be fighting possibly one of the smarter giants or the more craftsman giant. Perhaps he made this counter. Perhaps he makes all these iron weapons that keep... Ooh, a kite shield. Hmm, that's nice. I was told last time that's a rare drop from these guys, but I have no need for iron kite shields. I only want them to drop roots for future use. Bum, 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 bum. I do actually have a dilemma after after I finish Eternal Doom as to what I should play next of the choices available to me. I mean, I think it's going to either be Joy of Mapping 6 or the Doom World Mega Project 2018. But then there's also the Omega Project. Hmm. I am now prayer level 26. I can use the prayer Hawkeye. Which allows me to increase my ranging by 10%. And I'll gain Mystic War next level. Which will increase my magical attack and defense by 10%. Which is pretty happy. Then it's on to Steel Skin, Ultimate Strength. Reflexes, and then the really useful ones to protection from a serious kind of attack. Time to eat a fish. Dropping mythical arrows. I gotta focus. I'm here to. I'm here to train my strength and get my boots. Still level forty-one. I 
last year. Has the Omega Project come out yet at all? Because if I, if I play the Doom World Mega Project, I might play the Omega Project afterwards. So I can do like a comparison sort of thing. Let me just uh, have a look while I'm killing these guys. Let's see. Ooh. A new Omega project's been announced. Oh yeah, Barkey said he was going to do that. Okay. Uh, looks like it's not been released yet, but Time of Death has had to make a Time of Death has had to make a comment on the thread saying that this is not associated with the Doom World Mega Project 2018, where Cyphista made something yada yada. Wow. An interesting was a statement being made there by Time of Death, I have to say. But it looks like the Omega Project will get released eventually. And there's even a 2019 one being announced. Since it looks like, I guess, Time of Death is not changing his rules for this year's edition of the Mega Project. Hopefully I just killed a fly there. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. Looks like that archer decided to leave. Maybe I have two giants to kill now. Double prizes. Well, why not? Might as well take advantage of the fact that I have two giants now. Now I'm taking on a giant that has a cleaver. Looks a lot more savage. Caveman-esque. I suspect he will be back, however. Or someone will take his place. So, I'm not expecting a... Uh... Ah, oh, the owls disappeared. Nuts. Kill the giants! Here's the whole giant area for you. Plenty of corpses down there. The corpses of the giants or the corpses of people taking on the giants? You decide. Oh, someone's come to take his place. So I guess I will be going back to the one giant now. Oh well. I'll stick to my one giant. <laughs> Doing pretty well. I've got five roots again. Gives us more options for the potions later that we might need. I am now strength level 34! And I'm still level 41 in combat level. That's fine. I'm still kicking these guys asses. Alright, one more strength level. And then I'll give these hill giants a bit of a breather. Ooh. He dropped some iron arrows. Well, I might as well take them. Every arrow helps, even though I don't particularly. 
Oh, hey, I got a giant to myself. It's actually a wounded giant. Huh. Interestingly. Beat him up! Look at my favorite shoes. They're so fabulous. Perish beasts. Oh crap. It looks like I'll be taking this one from now on. This guy is going to take the other giant. Hitting him for 10. Ouch. That'll be me one day. Hey, you leave him alone. You pick on me instead. Giant is confused. Oh. He now realizes which one's stabbing him. <laughs> one day I'll be hitting for 9 and 10 damage on an opponent. Or it'll probably help when I have his gear. Shit, he's got a fucking full rune right there. It's pretty good. He's a, uh, a well equipped individual. So, Giant seems to be giving me some problems here. Whoa. Buying bones. Better eat those fish. It's actually buying bones. Interesting. Oh, I don't want to lose my kill. That was close. Before I take those extra bones that were just lying around for whatever reason. Still, being, being able to hit for six is pretty impressive. For what old me, anyway. Steel longsword? Hmm. Is that a giant drop there? I might actually take that steel long sword. That might sell for a bit. <laughs> a little bit of cash. Might just be worth keeping that. Just so I can sell it. Of these members quests I'll be doing first when I finally get around to it. There's so many. There's just so many quests. It's going to be so great doing them all. I cannot wait. Cosmic Rune? I've never seen that before. Whoa. Cosmic Rune. Can't say I've seen that before. Oh no! Damn it! I got distracted by Woot and I've lost my giant. Oh. But what's this Cosmic Rune? I have never seen that one before. It's a new one to me. Damn it, I lost my giant because of fucking loot. God damn it. Ugh. Oh, maybe I can get this one. Nice. Just in the nick of time. Oh, that was close. Alright, I guess I'll beat the one near the entrance. 
I almost want to play the Golden Axe music for fighting some of these guys. Like the boss music or something. Cosmic Room. I've never seen that room before. Hmm. Well, I shall store that. I've never ever seen a Cosmic Room before. But apparently it's used for enchanting, so... Oh! These guys do drop cosmic runes. Huh. Neat. Down to 10 fish now. Got 10 fish. Chop him up! Chop him up, George! Make him bleed! Come on, you big bugger, drop some roots for me. That's what I'm here for. Oh my lord. Say not for. <laughs> it's got axe. I think it's time to pawn some more, a different music track. Bear with me a moment. Okay. I'm going to pawn some music. I feel like this is more appropriate. <laughs> Dragon Brazil, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm just killing kill giants to train my strength skills, and also to get some roots, so I can make some alchemy potions later down the line. Have you had a good year so far? Yes, there's been plenty of suffering with Eternal Doom tonight. I played back-to-back -back Jim Flynn maps. It was quite an experience. Let me tell you. If 
That seems about a good summary of it. I spent nearly an hour and a half of in-game time on map 26 to close out tonight's Doom stream. There's fairly a fair amount of good-looking maps in El Turtle Doom. It seems that Eternal Doom's reputation is based off a few maps rather than all of them. But rest assured, those few maps definitely take some doing. What are you doing here, my lord? Uh, not quite sure. It's both way gone here, I guess. We've only got five maps left though, Elder Dragon. So Eternal Doom is coming to a close. Although I've been told map 30 is quite a doozy of a map. I know, finally. Then I can start playing what I really want to play. <laughs> I wish I have a plethora of choice. Winter Doom would be a nice new achievement. Winter Doom. Ah, the classic vibes of Golden Axe. Well, would be fitting. I mean, we are almost done with this trap, so. I'll, oh, wow, I've got three notifications. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Best RuneScape daily moments commented. Great editing? <laughs> Were you kidding me? Great editing? Are you being sarcastic there? Got a comment saying great editing. Wow. Oh, okay. I guess he's referred to something else, possibly. Weird. <laughs> well, someone was. Wad made in the snow. You like. I don't know which one you mean. Oh yeah, I should probably restore back the music now. Someone commented, or apparently commented and then took away the comment on my most recent RuneScape upload. Nice editing. Which was pretty much me just uploading my entire live stream. <laughs> I don't think they quite realised that's what it was. But... There you go. Oh, Winter's Fury. I've already played Winter's Fury quite a few years ago. I played Winter's Fury about five years ago, I think. If you want to walk through my video on demand, then feel free to have a walk for it. It might be quite far down, but I have played it. Winter's Fury was quite an interesting ward. Definitely one of the more memorable ones. I even managed to have the creator of the actual ward in the chat at the time as well for parts of it, which is pretty nice. How much? Shouldn't be too much longer with these hill giants now. And 
then we will be able to move on. I think I will move on to the Moss Giants after this, just to see what they drop, and just see if I can beat them up or not. <laughs> A three hundred dollars pool for twelve hours of streaming. Elder Dragon. The problem is, I'd love to be able to do twelve hours streaming, but I'm not allowed to. Nor do I want to. I like to stream in white, usually around four or five hour burst at most. I do get fatigued after a while if I stream for too long. Depending on what I play, mind you. And the thing is, I can't do a 12 hour stream. If I had my own place, I probably could commit to stuff like that. But since I'm living with my mom still, I can't. So stuff like that's going to have to wait until I get a lot of other things sorted out. But if I ever decide to put it up there. First step for me in that regard is getting a job again. So, once I get another job and the money comes back in, then we can move on from there. I am now level 35 in strength and I am combat level 42. Nice. That's pretty good. I'm exactly the same level as the giants I'll be fighting. The moss giants. I'll just kill this guy off. And we'll switch to the defense stat. And he dropped the root. Nice. Just in time. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, six roots from what about 34 minutes killing them? Not bad. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff. I mean, I'd love to do longer streams on occasion, but even if I took like little breaks or something in between. But it's going to be a while before that happens. But you never know. It could happen in the future. Can't entirely rule it out. Hmm. That's a new kind of rune, so I'll have to put this in here. Another body talisman. I seem to have a lot of those. Alright, deposit all the fish, deposit all that, dump that off. And withdraw. I'm gonna just draw whatever. <laughs> all that should do it. I don't need the key for the uh, moss giants since they aren't exactly locked away or anything. We'll quickly sew off this long sword as well, I think. Alright, let's tray with you. Tray with you. Sell the sword. 200 coins. Very nice. Instant ka ching ka -ching. Might as well save my stamina. For a little bit. Okay, that's all the coins. Alright. Now we need to get over to the sewer area where the uh, moss giants will be located. So we can go beat them up. We're exactly the same levels up they'll be. And we'll be training our defense a bit on them if they are manageable. I think they'll be a little tougher than those hill giants somehow, but... Hey-ho, exploration, discovery, ho! Alright, let's save the stamina. We might need that later. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure we will need it.
Alright. I'm gonna go grab myself another drink. I'll be back in two seconds. All right, I'm back. <laughs> wow, you're still around, Squib Hunter. Awesome. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, look. Splashy, splashy. Right, anyway. It's time to go beat up on some moss giant. And see what they drop. So I see, I'm trying to make. Okay, so the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There's scorpions down here? Yep, there is. Okay, they should. Actually, no, save for stamina. We might need it when we go past these guys. So I want to remind you all that this is all underneath Valok. Sewers underneath Valok. Aside from the torture axe, there are undead hordes. Ha! Huh, I'm level 42. These skeletons will now ignore me. Because I'm double the level. Oh, wait, I'm not double the level plus one. Ah, oh, whatever. They can't really hurt me anyway. These go. Alright, let's go. Now, these zombies might be a bit of a pain, but ew. Whatever. Ugh, oh, fucking zombie. Leave me alone. No zombie. No skeletons. Slash the web, please. Slash the web. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright. Now we have four giant spiders. They're just giant spiders. Whoa! Do you see my character flicking out there a little bit? Now these are the spiders that have the red eggs that we also need for alchemy ingredients. But I'm not here to fight you spiders. Not today. No silly. I am here to fight a moss giant. His beard seems to have a life of its own. Oh, crap. One problem. Uh, I was given that by dubs. This is a multiple combat area. I have to be very careful not to get attacked by more than one of these guys. All right, here we go. Let's take him on. If we get multiple attack, dude, I'm going to run off. Let's see how we do. They are the same level as us. Ow. They hit for six. So we need to be careful. Now, I was given that dubs I was given that bomb pretty early on by dubs. One of the regulars of the channel. They can hit up to 14. 14. Jeez, I hope my defense holds then in that case. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind though, thank you. 14. That is a lot. I better not let my health get low then, these guys. These guys mean business. But, he falls. And Chaos Rune and Big Bones. 
Now, I want to be careful because, as I said, it's a multiple combat area. So, multiples can attack me if it's a wish. So, they drop. They attack swell, so you have time to react. Uh oh. Oh shit, there's two of them now. I don't want two. Just a one will do. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, that's a good thing. They attack slow. Alright, so I gotta make sure my health doesn't drop below 15 then. I mean, I have 30 defense. And I am wearing Mithril. That should hopefully negate the chance of being hit for a powerhouse 14, I would think. I wonder if these guys dropped roots as well. I mean, the moss giants, you'd think they would. Potentially. Defense only reduces the chance of being hit. Yeah, I know, it doesn't protect the max hit. But you are right, I am, I'm aware of that stat. I used to think it did reduce the damage, but it's a chance not to be hit for the max. Wow, this guy hit me pretty hard. Come on, finish him. Yeah! Yep. Oh, he actually dissolves or something into the earth. That's fucking weird. Okay, I need to bait this guy away from his friend a little bit. Because if his friend attacks me as well, then I'm in a bit of trouble. There we go. That should do it, I hope. Only five coins? Oh no, now the spider's getting involved. No, 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 no. Let's make this one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, this is an additional problem I have with this on like the hill giants. These guys are in a zone of uh Yeah, I seem to be defending alright. I'm not I'm six seems to be the highest so far. They're not going down too easy though. And they're certainly hitting me a lot more than the hill giants do. I try to I try to fight different enemies just to see what they do and see what they drop, but Unless they drop anything particularly noteworthy, I don't bother killing too many of them. <laughs> it's just part of the fun of exploring new enemies to fight. Come on. A giant falls. Oh shit, I wanna get the big bones. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, there's spiders. Damn it. Now there's a spider on my ass. Gonna have to kill this spider. Fucking spider. Oh, it's like someone else is here too. I should be alright against the spider. Die, spider. Now, I do need some eggs off these things for the alchemy as well. I wonder if they drop them or whether you have to pick them up from somewhere. If I kill enough of them, perhaps I'll find out. Gotcha. I have a feeling the spiders don't drop the eggs. Well, maybe they will. Oh, shoot. Oh, you're going down, big guy. I kick you. Oh, no. I don't want to fight a spider as well. God damn it. I keep getting interrupted. Jeez, I'm trying to fight one enemy and another one comes in. You guys are not helping. 
Leave me alone. It's a good thing I trained my strength up before taking these guys on so I can hit for six myself. Come on. Okay. Spider's dead. Right. Now I can get back to fighting the giant. Ugh. There we go. And the other giant can't really do anything. He could reach over that wall, but he's not doing. And for that, I am grateful. You're right, that beard does seem to have a life of its own. Oof. Maybe for five. And thank you for the follow, Beazel9891. How you doing? You having a good evening or morning? Depending on where you are from. I do have lobsters, but I'm not going to use the lobsters for stuff like this necessarily. I'm sort of using up my salmons. <laughs> uh oh, we can get away here. I think I'll eat twice just to be on the safe side. There he goes. He. He really does evaporate in a very strange way. I'm going to bury these bones. I don't want to take the fucking coins. Of course I do. I need to draw him out a bit and then sucker him back in here. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, now I got you. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight the spider as well. Jesus. Why won't this giant come a little closer? Oh, God. This is so awkward. It's a lot hard to fight these guys because of the spiders and the multiple combat rule. I have to, like, find a way to... He's too big to fit. This is so awkward. I don't really think we'll be fighting too many more of these guys if I can get any more at all. Hmm. Mind you, there is an area over here I could have a look at instead. Ah, hang on now. Oh, he's gone back into place. I need to. I need to. Ah, now maybe I could try over here. Aha! It's on his own. There we go. Good. There's a few more players over here, so. Also, a cauldron. Oh, wow. He's taking on three at once. Man, he is A, level 59, and B, wearing much better gear. So, he'll be fine. If I took on three at once, I'd be murdered. So, Moss Giants obviously are like Earth Giants or something. Get him. Get him. Careful. Don't get killed. That's it. Yay! Defense level 31. Okay, now defend a little better. So I guess these giants came from the earth and were created, or molded, or whatever. 
out of the earth. So interesting that they would choose to come here in the middle of the sewer. <laughs> of all things. This guy seems rather happy to fight like five at once, three at once. I'm happy for him to do the same. It allows me to focus on one at a time. So it's interesting to note that in the Valok sewer, there is not only zombies, skeletons, ghosts, but there's also a growing refuge of moss giants who somehow grew and lived down here and just stay down here. Not wishing to expand their earth materials to any other part of the sewer or anything. They just seem quite happy to drink the water, feast upon the earth, and coexist alongside deadly spiders. And yet, Velok worries about a demon that comes once every 150 years. They've got problems closer to home, he thinks. Like in their fucking sewers, for instance. And to think, if you lose anything in the sewers, what have you got to do? You got to send someone down there to go and get it. Oh, I lost this precious key in the sewers. Hope I'm prepared to fight the undead today. And what's going to happen if these moss giants do suddenly want to start coming to the surface and expanding? You think one bird is going to stop them? Which is what they've set up as some kind of defensive thing, apparently. I'm running out of fish. These guys are a lot harder to fight, but in addition to that, they aren't dropping anything interesting. I mean, chaos runes. I'm not seeing anything here that indicates I need to fight much more of these guys. Unless they drop, like, the roots. But honestly, the hill giants are easier. <laughs> it's attacking him. Great, you attack him. I will attack him too. I don't even get. I don't. Even, I get three hits on this guy. No problem for me. I mean, if they drop the same roots, then honestly, the hill giants are easier to kill. So, I must say, I'm gonna drop something a bit more interesting. You'd think maybe these guys would drop more roots since they're like moss giants, not hill giants, but... Anyway... And he molds into the earth and dies. He's taking a bit of a pounding, mind you, despite his level, but he's kicking their asses pretty easily. Alright, here's another. Coins, Chaos Runes, and Bones. And I'm sure there's other kinds of giants later on as well. <laughs> I don't think these will be the last kind of giants we come across in this game. Well, despite that though, here comes somebody else looking for some giants to kill. Perhaps people come here because the hill giants are too regularly camped or something? Oh, gotta be careful. Down to my last two fish. I think I might. I think I might make this my last giant. They are a pretty tough opponent, but they're not really dropping anything that makes me want to continue beating them at this present time, anyway. All right. Time to go. Also, we're running out of food, so we need to eat for that reason. Can I 
I open this gate? I forget. It's locked. So, no, I can't open this gate. That pretty much answers that question, huh? Can I open this gate? No, I can't. Huh. The roots of a tree are exposed. Drop some eggs, you buggers. I don't think these um, spiders drop eggs. I'm going to have to find where they have a hatchery or something and, like, go there. Where else have I seen red spiders? Hmm. I'm sure I've seen spiders' eggs in another place like this. Somewhere else. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen these red spiders somewhere else. And I'm sure there were some eggs. here. Alright, it's time to get out of this dungeon. Blech. Man, I'm so close to that next hit points level, mind you. But, I need to get out of here. There we go. You wanna fight me? Oh, big mistake, little man. Big mistake. Oh, you wanna two-on-one me, do you? Fools! I will kill you and your friend. Even though I have no food. Come on, finish him off. Ah, someone's come to beat you up, see? Yeah! How do you like it? Fucking skeleton. Ha! <laughs> now you're stuck. Boy, do you feel stupid? You got, you got smoked. See what? This is what they have guarding their little dungeon. They have a bear. They have a bear pit and an iron cage. This is how they guard their little sewer entrance. The other bear. Damn, I want those bones and the coins. Seriously, zombie? Seriously? I'm gonna kill you as. Oh dear. I don't wanna take on too many of these guys. Oh god. No, I'm not killing all you guys. We're done here. Ah. Okay, time to run. We are really close to getting another hit point level up, though. Hmm. Perhaps just a perhaps just a few more. Pints of blood should be spilt on the way out. Might as well keep the zombie crisis under wraps, eh? Die, zombie! I've got another one. I mean, that bird might protect them from zombies and skeletons, but it's not going to do shit against a moss giant, is it? But I guess the moss giants don't bother coming up. Valok is very lucky. I wonder how many of them are truly aware of the undead menace that lies beneath their very feet. 
you know. So I keep you. Would you want to sweep peacefully under a city where there's zombies in your local? Uh... Hmm, so he's this guy is killing rats. I am killing because I want to get my level up in the hit points before I get out of this place. What will rat die? My hit points are now 36. Woo! I now have 36 HP. Oh, I will have as soon as I get my health back. <laughs> Still need four more levels of that, but man, it's one o'clock in the morning. I have to get some sleep. So moss giants don't seem worth bothering with, really. I think I'll stick to the hill giants. At least they drop roots, and they are not too bad to kill. Dump me off. I'm sure I have some vials, don't I? Oh, I've got five of them. Hell, I've got anti poison and some strength potions, which I found in the um, wilderness. <laughs> I wonder if these strength potions are necessary to do with melee, though. Eh, I'm not so sure. Anti-poison seems more of a general thing, I think. But could it come under food? Consumables? Yeah, it's definitely consumables, isn't it? So it should be moved to this category, actually. Not the, um... This category. This is more for this melee stuff. This is like food slash consumables. So I should have my anti-poison... And my strength potions. I got these from the wilderness, so I have a few to reserve, but. 518,000. 519,393 coins. Delicious. Let's get that healing up. All right, well, that is going to be it for this part. And boy, it has been a fun stream tonight. I've done the Misfarwin Mystery, a new quest I've never played before, of which it will be nothing but new quests from now on. And I've got my strength level to 35, my hit points up two, and I'm now combat level 42. I'm getting stronger all the time. I think next time around, I will take on the Corsia Curse, the other new quest that was added to the free-to-play stuff recently. And then after that, there will only be one thing left to do. Dragon Slayer. The end draws another step nearer. I hope you've all enjoyed the stream. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. For some more RuneScape.